Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about editing in the Touch Chat app. Right now you can see we are in the Touch Chat app itself and we have in these orange bar up here we have um, these words vocab and menu. So that means we are in edit mode. We are ready to go ahead and edit. So I'm going to go up here to menu and then we're going here to edit page. And you know that we are ready to do editing when you see this red bar come across the top. That means I can go in and hit any button I want to edit. Right now I'm gonna hit done because I first need to go ahead and find a page that I want to edit. So let's say in particular that I want to do something Train. with play. Maybe I wanna add a, a particular toy that uh, I like to play with. So I'm gonna go up here to menu, edit page, the red bar goes across the top. I'm going to select one of these buttons that is open. I do not mess with these words over here um, that are already programmed in because that messes up the formatting of the app that's really robust already and the vocabulary that's available. So I wanna go ahead and choose something that's open, not something that um, we might want to use later on. So again, if I go back to the home page, I is always in the same pay in the same button and we want to keep those sequences the same. That helps with motor memory for our kids and being able to find things quick, quickly and accessible. So I go with one of these white buttons that's already here and formatted, edit this button, and then I can go in and just put whatever I want. So I can do a couple of different things. I can go in here and type in, let's say maybe it's, um, Elmo. Maybe it's the doll Elmo that I love to play with specifically. So I'm going to go ahead and type in Elmo and I can go down here to select image and then it gives me a bunch of different symbol options up here. I usually just go over to my search bar, the little search guy, and you can see it has different images of Elmo. So you'll see a lot of these images are already in the Touch Chat app itself, which is really super so I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now you can tell button label, that's what it's going to that's what it's going to be written on the label on the button and then button message. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And now I can go back out, hit done, so you're out of edit mode and Anna. then there's my Elmo button. Now let's say Anna. I wanted to move that around. I can move that button around anywhere I want. Again, I'm not going to mess with these pre-programmed buttons that are here. These buttons right here are ones that we added. So I could switch those around if I wanted to. I try to put these in alphabetical order once I get them in here, just so our students learn top to bottom, left to right. So I could move, you know, let's say we have chalk. Let's see if I can do all of these. Food is here, Elmo might go here and so forth. So that might be something you might want to think about if you start to get this whole page full of different um, symbols or pictures or activities that your uh, child or uh, individual likes to use. Another thing that you can add to your buttons are photos. So if I go back into edit, I have my bar across the top that's in red and I can select any of these buttons that are empty or squares, edit this button, and then I can go in and import an image. I'm going, I can use a, my camera, which is I can take any picture live right where I am, or I can go from my image library. I typically take the picture ahead of time and put it in my library on my iPad. That way I have the picture always for other purposes later. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the Fisher Price toy and I'm gonna move it in as much as I can because I don't want any of the background if I can help it. That way we know the focus is on the picture or the image itself. And oh, look, I can put an image name if I want to here. And I'm gonna put farm, Fisher Price Farm, right? Okay, so that's the image that I've just now given that. Up here, I might just go ahead and put in farm because that's what I wanted to say um, when I play with it. Maybe I even want to put toy farm. 
So when the individual wants to ask for that, that's what it'll be labeled and that's what the message will say as well, okay? Down here at the bottom, we typically don't have to mess with these if you're using one of these white squares that's already created in a template, um, but you can go in and you can change your font size. Whoopsie. You can go in and change um, your font size. You can change um, the text color, the body color, the border color, and so forth. Uh, so just know those are some options. There's also some actions that you can add. We won't go through that today, but if you're wanting to link pages to certain things, such as um, maybe a YouTube link, that's an option as well, or link a new page, that's something we can always add. And now we have the toy farm. We want to take it back out of edit mode so I need to go to my home button and I like it to go out of edit mode there's a way to lock in so you still have these bars all the time but I prefer to go into settings and take it out of edit mode here so I'm gonna go over here and find my touch chat app turn off allow editing my words go away in the orange bar see that so now we know that anyone who's using this as their AAC system, they will no longer be able to edit on their own. So then at that point, I'm gonna put it into guided access and it's locked back into an AAC device specifically. Hopefully that's helpful and good luck.